What if the broken chair you just threw away last week could be reborn as flooring in a luxury hotel? Or the wooden crates from your last delivery could be turned into biofuel powering an entire factory? Every single year, tons of wood are recycled worldwide, saving forests, reducing waste, and fueling entire industries. But what really happens to all that discarded wood? From massive shredders to high-tech sorting machines, this is how over 60 million tons of wood are recycled each year in a factory. Wood recycling isn't just about keeping trash out of landfills, it's a massive industry that helps protect forests, cut down on pollution, and even generate electricity. But before any of that happens, the process starts with collection. Every year, millions of tons of wood waste pile up from construction sites, demolition projects, sawmills, furniture factories, and homes. If left unmanaged, this waste could clog landfills, release harmful gases, and take decades to break down. But instead of letting it go to waste, industries around the world are giving this wood a second life. The amount and variety of wood waste are staggering. On a construction site, there are offcuts, plywood, framing lumber, pallets, and even tree branches from land clearing. When old buildings are torn down, they leave behind doors, window frames, floorboards, and wooden beams. Furniture factories generate tons of sawdust and scraps, while homes contribute broken chairs, shelves, and cabinets. Even packaging materials, like wooden crates and shipping pallets, can be recycled instead of tossed in the trash. Not all wood is the same. Some pieces are clean and untreated, making them easy to recycle. Others, however, are coated in paint, varnish, or chemicals, turning the process into a much trickier operation. Many types of construction wood, for example, contain adhesives, preservatives, or pressure treatments designed to resist rot and pests. While useful for durability, these treatments introduce harmful chemicals that must be carefully handled to prevent contamination. That's why sorting is one of the most important steps in the entire recycling process. At a modern wood recycling facility, massive conveyor belts carry piles of discarded wood to a sorting station. Here, advanced AI-powered scanners and skilled workers carefully inspect each piece, determining how it should be processed. High-tech infrared sensors can detect chemical treatments, while metal detectors locate and remove embedded nails, screws, and hinges. Powerful magnets extract metal contaminants, setting them aside for separate recycling. Sorting is essential because not all wood can follow the same path. Clean, untreated wood can be immediately repurposed, often for furniture, flooring, or structural components in new construction. But if a piece has been painted, stained, or chemically treated, it requires additional steps before it can be recycled safely. Once sorting is complete, the wood moves to grinding and shredding, where it's broken down into refined materials for industrial use. Powerful industrial shredders and hammer mills work at incredible speeds, reducing large planks and beams into uniform wood chips, sawdust, or fibers. The consistency of these materials determines their next use. Larger wood chips are ideal for engineered wood products like MDF and chipboard, while finer sawdust is commonly used in mulch, compost, or biofuel production. Even after shredding, the wood isn't quite ready for its next life. To guarantee the highest quality, the shredded material goes through one last purification stage. Any lingering contaminants, like bits of plastic, adhesives, or small metal fragments, are removed using advanced screening systems. This ensures that the final processed wood is as pure as possible before moving on to manufacturing. Now, the recycled wood is ready for a second life and one of the biggest industries that benefits from it is biomass energy. Roughly 65% of all recycled wood is used as biomass fuel, where it's burned in specialized power plants to generate electricity. Unlike fossil fuels, burning recycled wood doesn't introduce new carbon into the atmosphere. It simply releases what the tree absorbed during its lifetime. This makes biomass energy a sustainable alternative that significantly cuts greenhouse gas emissions. Countries like Germany, Sweden, and the United States have invested heavily in this technology, using recycled wood to power factories, heat buildings, and even fuel public transportation systems. While energy production is one of the biggest uses for recycled wood, the construction industry isn't far behind. Engineered wood products have transformed modern building materials, and recycling plants are essential in supplying the raw materials needed to create them. Instead of cutting down new trees, factories take shredded wood fibers and press them into medium-density fiberboard, aka MDF, chipboard, plywood, and fiberboard. 
materials used in everything from furniture and flooring to cabinets and structural elements in homes and offices. These products are not only more affordable than solid lumber, but also far more sustainable. By turning waste wood into high-quality construction materials, industries are significantly reducing deforestation while keeping up with the growing demand for eco-friendly alternatives. Beyond construction, recycled wood has also found its way into luxury interior design and high-end furniture making. Some recycling facilities specialize in salvaging premium quality timber from old buildings, giving it a second life as hardwood flooring, custom furniture, and architectural accents. This reclaimed wood is incredibly popular because of its durability, rich grain, and natural weather look that can't be replicated with new lumber. Homeowners, designers, and architects seek out these materials for their unique character, making old wooden beams, planks, and panels highly valuable once they're carefully restored and repurposed. Recycled wood isn't just limited to construction and design. It plays a huge role in landscaping and agriculture as well. Wood that isn't suitable for engineered products is often ground into mulch, compost, or animal bedding. Farmers prefer wood-based bedding for livestock because it's soft, absorbent, and biodegradable. While landscapers use wood chips to protect soil, retain moisture, and prevent weeds in gardens and parks. Even racetracks and equestrian arenas benefit from recycled wood using specialized fiber blends to create safe, shock-absorbing surfaces for horses and riders. This versatility highlights just how many different ways recycled wood can be used, extending its life long after it's been discarded. But even with its many benefits, wood recycling comes with some serious challenges. Contamination is one of the biggest obstacles. If treated or chemically altered wood sneaks into the recycling stream, it can introduce harmful substances that ruin entire batches. That's why modern facilities use advanced sorting technology, including infrared sensors, AI-driven detection systems, and manual inspections to catch these materials before they enter production. The goal is to ensure that only safe, high-quality wood makes it through the process. Another challenge is cost. While recycling wood is cheaper than dumping it into a landfill, it still requires heavy machinery, skilled workers, and well-organized supply chains to be financially viable. Some facilities struggle to cover the high costs of advanced processing, especially in places where freshly cut lumber is still widely available and sometimes even cheaper. However, as environmental regulations become stricter and industries move toward more sustainable practices, the economic benefits of wood recycling are expected to grow. The future of wood recycling is looking brighter than ever, thanks to cutting-edge technology and smarter recycling methods. AI-driven sorting systems are transforming the industry, making the entire process faster, cheaper, and far more efficient. These high-tech systems use advanced sensors and deep learning to detect contaminants with pinpoint accuracy, ensuring that more wood gets recycled while reducing waste. Instead of relying on manual labor to separate treated wood from clean, reusable material, factories can now recover more usable wood than ever before. But that's just the beginning. Scientists are finding new ways to extract valuable materials from waste wood, leading to exciting innovations in biodegradable plastics, adhesives, and even sustainable textiles. Imagine wood fibers being used to create eco-friendly fabrics or natural glues that replace harmful synthetic alternatives. These breakthroughs are reshaping industries and proving that waste wood can be far more than just scrap. It's a resource with untapped potential. One of the biggest changes in wood recycling is the ability to convert wood waste into liquid biofuels. Advanced chemical processes can break down wood fibers and transform them into ethanol and methanol, which are renewable fuels that could eventually replace gasoline and diesel. This means that waste wood could one day power cars, planes, and industrial machinery, offering a sustainable alternative to fossil fuels. Instead of relying on petroleum, industries could turn discarded lumber into a clean energy source, making wood recycling not just an environmental solution, but an energy revolution. Beyond its environmental benefits, wood recycling is a massive economic force. The industry provides thousands of jobs worldwide, from waste collection and processing to manufacturing and research. Countries that prioritize wood recycling save millions of dollars every year by cutting landfill costs, reducing energy expenses, and lowering their reliance on imported raw materials. Governments are catching on, enforcing stricter waste management policies to encourage more sustainable practices across industries. The demand for recycled wood is only growing. In the UK, new laws now require construction companies to recycle a significant portion of their wood waste. Across Europe, businesses are being pushed to meet ambitious recycling targets, making sustainable wood use a core part of the global economy. 
These policies are forcing industries to rethink how they handle waste, leading to more innovation and investment in the recycling sector. But big companies and governments aren't the only ones who can make a difference. You can too. If you're renovating your home, don't just toss out old wooden furniture, doors, or flooring. Many recycling centers will gladly take them. If you work in construction, push for better recycling programs on job sites. Even something as simple as choosing recycled wood products or repurposing old furniture helps contribute to a more sustainable world. Wood recycling isn't just about keeping waste out of landfills, it's about rethinking how we use our planet's resources. With the right technology, smarter policies, and better choices, we can reduce deforestation, cut emissions, and build a greener future. One piece of recycled wood at a time. And that's how over 60 million tons of wood are recycled each year in factories. Giving waste wood a second life conserves resources, generates energy, and helps build a greener future. If you found this process fascinating, make sure to leave a comment and subscribe for more videos just like this. And don't forget to check out our video on how electronic waste is recycled. It's another industry you won't want to miss.